wrote a poem. I started it on Friday and I finished it on Saturday, so yesterday. So it's brand, brand spanking new. Um, so it is not memorized, so I'm going to theatrically read you guys a poem entitled, If My Son Was Problematic on the Internet. <laughs> All right, here, here we go, here we go. I am terrified of having a son who act like the men I have encountered on the internet. I have imagined what could possibly happen if I accidentally stumble upon his social media falling face first in my own disgust and disappointment, my son. My black boy, who had been cradled in the strength of love and arms that only a black mother possesses, had the nerve to sell me out for 300 retweets and 56 likes. <laughs> Telling the world that my kinky hair that grows out of his head wasn't good enough. That my broad nose was too broad for his narrow mind. That my attitude that he inherited was just too much to handle. See, he didn't like the fact that I was not submissive. His mother was too much like the weather. I was calm, I was harsh, I was quiet, I was unforgiven, I was powerful, I was unable to be controlled. My son told the world that he couldn't reproduce with a black woman like me because he was too scared to birth black children like himself. My son decided to find refuge in other races, deeming his as unfit. Instead of finding refuge in my arms, knowing that I loved him regardless, he spits on me anyhow, abusing my limitless love, displaying his dissatisfaction openly for others to pick me apart. When did my boy start to hate me so deeply? Who taught my boy to hate himself so immensely? Talking with an open mouth and a closed heart, swallowing what he believed was a black woman's worth from a European stance, forgetting the hand that fed him, he didn't understand the weight of the world that ripped through us. Like, like razor blades wielded by our own seed, so when our sons lick our wounds, they reopen our flesh with these cuts as if their taste buds taught them how to. I looked at my problematic son feeling as if I failed him, but no one said motherhood was easy. No one said that building a man would be easy. So I looked him in the face and I said, son, from this day forward, I need you to stomp your mother's spine in the roof of your mouth so every time you speak, you're, you remind your vertebrae that I am the one who makes you stand upright. I need you to unlearn and decolonize your mind. I want you to love yourself with such ferocity that it makes others uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. When you think of black women, think of us as necessary punctuation. My body bent out of shape to bring you light. The parentheses of my bow legs carry your weight. You will respect me, period. The stride of my walk will hit you like exclamation marks dancing on top of ellipses. Typographical, typographical devices that help you in the understanding and correct reading of life. The calligraphy that makes your existence beautiful. The written history of who you are personified in me. Because when you learn to love me, you will be able to love others freely without being problematic on the internet. Wow.